குட் மார்னிங் ஐ ஆம் கோயம்புத்தூர் திருமூலர் சித்தர்பீடம் சிவயோகி சிவராஜன் ஸ்பீக்கிங் நவ் ஐ ஆம் ஸ்பீக்கிங் அபவுட் ரீஜுவனியேஷன் யோகாஸ் மெனி பீப்புள் ஆர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டட் இன் ரீஜுவனேஷன் எவரிபடி வாண்ட்ஸ் டு லீவ் யங் பட் தேர் ஆர் செப்பரேட் டூ த்ரீ யோகாஸ் மென்ஷன்டு பை செயின் திருமூலர் The name of rejuvenation yogas are Sarira Siddhi Vibhayam Ayus Pariksha Amuri Dharanai These are the three yogas mentioned by Explained by Thirumular In his book called Thirumandram In the book Thirumandram chapter 3 deals with the different kinds of yogas kesari yoga muridharana chandra yoga ashtanga yoga these yogas sarira siddhi ubayam ayus parisha and he has explained different types of breathing techniques also and he explains how rejuvenation can be affected by yogas there are also herbs for maintaining one to rejuvenate but that is a separate thing the 18 siddhas are mentioning about this herbal treatment for rejuvenation also but yogas anybody can do kesari yoga is also rejuvenating vasi yoga rejuvenating there are separate sections in tirumandram and he explains how one can stay young by doing these yogas by these yogas you are activating the endocrine glands these are shiva yogas these are not available in any other area if you go to rishikesh or and other things you cannot get all these yogas because these are available only in tamil not yet translated in detail in english or any other language so these rejuvenating yogas have to be translated into english and other languages researches have to be done on these things how medical science is confirming that rejuvenation is possible the dna can reset the life clock the epigenome can uh, do repairing work as well as do modify the dna in each cell so these shiva yogas work at the dna level and cause rejuvenation activation of pineal gland hypothalamus and pituitary gland through chakra activation yoga one can modify the endocrine um, gland secretions in your body when these secre- secretions are modified the chemical activity in the body will be changed in other ways that's the metabolic changes will be adjusted in such a way as to become young when you read the life history of tirumular and his student kalanginath they got a rejuvenation in a place called ilampillai ilampillai means they got rejuvenated just like a child in that place using this kayalpa yoga and some herbal products available in a particular forest called kanchamalai these are available so this rejuvenation yoga there is no separate yoga in other sanskrit or any other language these are available in tirumandiram written by tirumula he is the head of the 18 siddhas of tamil nadu there are techniques how to maintain this vada pitta and kava in the control by just pranayama 
According to the Ayurveda and Siddha treatment, the Vata, Pitta and Kapha are the elements which keeps bodies young if they are kept in the right proportion. Tirumula says that it can, it can be achieved by pranayama. Doing this in the morning, evening or uh, uh, afternoon according to the need of the aspirant. And he say, explains how the breathing techniques, number of breathing decides the life. He explains about the breathing style of a person who is destined to live up to 25 years. As a person who is de uh, destined to live for 28 years, 50 years, 60 years, 80 years, 100 years, and 120 years. If the breathing pattern is reset, the aging process can be delayed and modified. He explains in detail with the, um, regarding the number of uh, breathing per day and there's a depth of the breathing, the intensity of the breathing. He's giving exact number of the breathing. If you um, um, breathe for 21,600 every day, then you can live for 120 years. But if you uh, breathe for more than this, say 50 times, 50,000 times a day, then the age is coming down. But uh, by modifying, resetting the pattern, how to change the pattern, he has, he is practically giving ideas. I am giving training on that basis. How to slow down the breathing and reduce the number of breathing. And at the same time, you can retain more oxygen in your blood. And you can activate the dasa voice in your body so that the prana can absorb the Panjabuddha energy from outside. These are very scientifically explained by Tirumula. Biocurrent is created by this um, mitochondria in each cell. If you absorb the astral current through this training, it will be utilized and converted into biocurrent by mitochondria. Even now, many yogis are living without food. Now, one person in uh, Nepal is uh, uh, meditating without food for more than 18 years, and one yogi in Tiruvannamali is still living without food and water. He is a living example of this. That is, they are drawing this energy from the Panjabudas. The one and the same energy is in uh, all the Panjabudas and they, in the energy all the Panjabuda materials are available. They are directly absorbing. Because you can check up, they are not suffering from the dehydration. If an ordinary person remains with a, in fasting for more than 10 days, he will become unconscious. His liver, liver condition will be very poor. But now, he is a living example is there in Tiruvannamali in Tamil Nadu. Also, without food, he is a, he is adding this photo, everything is available in it also. In my knowledge, one Swamiji in Trivandrum lived for 15 years without any food. I saw a yogi who lived for two years without any food. So, how it is possible? It is, yeah, when you put it for this scientific study, the Western science will say it is medical miracle. But it is not medical miracle. According to yogi science, it is possible. If you start receiving, absorbing the energy through your chakras, so even your skin, you are, you are drawing in the energy. There are 108 marma points or varma by secret points where through which you are connected with this eternal cosmic energy. If you activate the chakras and cleanse up and open up the nadis, they will start receiving these cosmic energies. The 108 points, the Varma points are actually secret points. They are meeting points of the outside cosmic energy and the energy prana inside you. Now, ordinary persons, they remain idle. 
if you open up the channels there are techniques to open up the channels absorb the energy through chakra activation store them in the uh, these dasavayus and open up the channels at least 10 yogic channels there are methods in how to activate the chakras how to store the cosmic energy in the dasavayus they are a storage place of energy they are energy pools and you direct the energy throughout the body by opening up the channels. These are all available in the astral body. The Western world knows only about the nervous system. In the book of Atlas of Anatomy or Anatomy books, only nervous system is explained. Only biocurrent is flowing through that. But the Nadi system is well established in all the yogic literature, or the Siddha literature, Parma literature and this Ayurveda literature. So, this has to be translated to other languages and the international community has to scrutinize the records. There, there should be evidence-based research. Evidence are there. If you activate this energy, if you start receiving the energy, food will come down. So, this is possible in India, but it is not uh, uh, this widely accepted because we have to um, prove it on evidence-based research. I have evidence. So this is possible. The age reversal program is explained in Thirumular Thirumandra. If you these are yogas are named as Kaya Galpa Yoga, Vasi Yoga, Avadi Samuri Dharma, Sarira Siddhi Ubaya, Ayus Parisha, 